Two Minute Tuesday. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt. This is Dwyer Creatives, and it's time for a Two Minute Tuesday, so let's put two minutes on that clock. Over the weekend, I went out, shot some footage for an upcoming episode, and I came home, started editing it. As I was editing it, I had some problems with my audio. Now, for a little bit, you can see it would just kind of get choppy. No big deal. I can go over that and then it kind of completely cut out. So I'm gonna play this here where you're gonna see the audio just kind of stutter a little bit. Still usable, but not ideal. For this, we're gonna jump. So next I'm gonna play where it completely cuts out. And as you can see, with nothing there, this is not usable. Now this is gonna be an issue. So I was shooting on my DJI Osmos Pocket 3, which I'm currently shooting on, and it was tied to the DJI mic too, which I'm currently using right now. My thing is I was in an empty parking lot. The office building there was empty because it was the weekend. So there shouldn't have been a high volume of frequencies there. I've used both the DJI mic 2 and the DJI mic 1 for some tests in my own house. I have some higher frequencies, specifically Bluetooth on multiple different signals. It's all gonna be in very close proximity and I never had an issue with that. This goes back to my video I made recently about should you upgrade to the DJI Mic 2. The three major points I made in that video why you should upgrade or why you would take that over the DJI Mic 1s and the $100 difference was first of all the 32-bit flow which it should have, the noise isolation which I thought wasn't there yet, and then the Bluetooth which up to that point I hadn't had any issues that I thought was great and I still think is great so maybe this will just be a one-time thing but that is something now that's like like, hey, can I fully rely on this? Especially when it's made to pair specifically with the DJI Osmos Pocket 3 because it comes with the creator combo, right? I just wanted to make note of this and share this with you in case you are looking at upgrading because I had the mic ones, they work great. They don't have 32-bit flow, they don't have Bluetooth, and they don't have noise isolation but they work great and they're $100 less. Is that $100 difference worth upgrading to? I wanna do now a lot more testing with the Osmos Pocket and specifically the Bluetooth feature. So pairing it to the Osmos Pocket 3, pairing it with my phone and seeing if I have this problem again. One mistake I made is I did not record internally on the DJI Mic 2. And I always do this when I'm recording audio is I always make up a backup file and for some reason I didn't. So maybe next time I'll go out and I'll try that, make sure that the internal backup is recording and seeing that a it cuts out on the bluetooth but it doesn't come out on the backup but if it does you know is that going to be an issue i just wanted to be open to y'all with that because i did have that one experience with it recently and up to this point again like i haven't had any issues but that was a huge cutout and if i wasn't recording on my other mic i would have lost all the audio and had to go out and shoot it all over again these are just my opinions and thoughts on it in the comments below let me know if this has happened to you if you know this has happened to anyone else and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you next time